If you like these videos, if you like what I share, please click the button below to subscribe to my channel. My decision to become more self-sufficient and rely on myself and my land kind of stems from my time at Fort McClellan, Alabama. Uh, some of you know my history on that, some of you don't, but Fort McClellan, if you want to do a little bit of research, it's basically a toxic waste dump and every single person that went through Fort McClellan, whether it be a Marine or Army, was exposed to toxins and a lot of people have already died because some of the toxins cause cancer. With women in particular, women have been more susceptible to reproductive problems associated with what was dumped on Fort McClellan which from what I've read is 750,000 barrels of toxins, each barrel being 55 gallons, you're talking a whole lot. <laughs> and then outside of Fort McClellan at Anniston, there was Monsanto, and they for decades had been releasing PCBs into the water, the soil, and the air. And PCBs, if, you, if you're familiar with anything uh, on PCBs, they have caused a lot of female reproductive problems. Uh, one link that they found was PCBs to endometriosis and uh, fibroid cysts, both of which can cause you to become sterile, to require a hysterectomy. There's a lot that that those chemicals can do to a woman. So um, I've been trying to get the word out to everybody that has ever been to Fort McClellan, Alabama. Go down to your local DAV, uh, that's the Disabled American Veterans, or go down to your VA and file toxic exposure claim. Definitely do it because you were exposed. If you were at Fort McClellan for even a month, you were exposed. So definitely go do that. Um, but that is the whole reason behind my self-sufficiency and my cleaner living and my cleaner eating is that I have been exposed to these toxins and poisons to the point that I cannot continue allowing poisons into my body or I'm probably going to die of a cancer. So my intent is to live as long as I can. And in order to do that, I need to eat cleaner. So everything that I produce doesn't come in contact with any chemicals. I will use companion planting to eliminate pest issues, or I will encourage a pest issue in a diff different location of the garden in order to keep those pests away from the food source that I am growing. And, and it's been working out really well. So far this year, I've not had any problems other than squash bugs. I've had to go out and squish squash bugs more times than I could count and those things are disgusting. Ew. But it, it's worth it in order to have food. So I, I do it whether I like it or not I have to go out and do it and it it's a pain but at least I have food and the food is toxin free. So that's one of the, the goals that I have is being able to grow a garden without any chemicals at all. I'll use beneficial insects, ladybugs, green lacewing, even uh, praying mantis. And I will use those and I will use companion planting with other plants because there are some plants whose scent will mask the scent of another plant. And in doing so, you can prevent some pests from ever coming out.